Why did you leave this beautiful country for America? Okay, let's make one thing clear. I love Italy and I think Italy is a great place to go for vacation to. It's beautiful, it's amazing. It's just not the, pl the greatest place to live in. Oh boy! What the f was that? Is it bad? So one thing is the language barrier. So in Italy, I always kind of felt like I was an outsider compared to the rest of the world because Italian people they're really bad at talking English mostly because we we're just not used to hearing the language and we we translate all the movies which is something really cool that we do but at the same time it makes it really hard for us to actually learn Ingl English and learn the pronunciation you know I always had my idols and people that I loved that were famous and wanted to watch their interviews and I would understand nothing of what they would say I always kind of felt like I was left out and I never liked that so I always had the dream to to actually go to some other country and be able to learn English and you know in Italy America is like a big thing and it's like the American dream you know is it okay oh no <laughs> I thought it was just a plant I don't know how to put this back but I guess I'll take it to the mechanic again Okay, we officially made it. We are parking. Reason two, which is probably the most important one, it is very hard in Italy to get a decent career unless you know somebody in the field. So if you want to do anything specific and you have no help, it's just very hard to get into it. And there's not much space for improvement and for growth. And I felt like that wasn't what I want to do. I'm, I'm inspired to be an owner and own a shop or a business and I want to be great and I feel like America gives you that opportunity to really grow and be amazing. Have you ever been here, Greta? Nope. Nope. Nope, nope. What do you do about other than letting I brought you flip flops. I know you don't like them, but you have to go through here, so you have to put them on. to open a gelato store and I felt like Italy has thousands of them but it would be great to bring that same gelato concept into another country that doesn't have many for it to be more appreciated so that that was also part of the reason and she forgot to mention me obviously but you know, that's <laughs> yeah so I put on flip-flops in exchange for my skateboarding shoes um, it slowed me down a bit but it's necessary. This is definitely difficult with flip-flops and an expensive camera. <laughs> all these travel vloggers make all this seem so easy, finding all these waterfalls and all these beautiful locations, but it's not that easy. So what are some of the first things you noticed in America that were different compared to Italy? Okay, so there's, I feel like there's many differences. The first time I had to go to the bathroom, I, I, don't, I just don't understand. There's like so much water in the toilet in America. And I was just like, because in Italy, we only have it in the, like in the very bottom, there's like this much water. And 
then I go there, I go to the bathroom, and the toilet is full of water. I literally thought it was clogged. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? <laughs> so that was really the first thing that I was like, hmm, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> that is true. Is that, That's like a European thing, right? Like European, uh, all of Europe kind of has yeah, like the less so. amount of water. And right? related to that, in Italy, we all, like bidet, which is like the little toilet-shaped sink. <laughs> it's a sink for your private parts. That's exactly. What it, that's what it is. So we just got back from the waterfall, and that was actually a secondary waterfall to this area. The main one, the main attraction was actually closed. They're doing some sort of construction there, so maybe next time we'll check it out. We found a really cool lake on the way home. Is this the first time you've been here? Mm-hmm. I've never even heard of this lake. It's like a small little lake, but it's really pretty. And the water's pretty warm. We should have taken a dip over here. Look, Sophia's on a rock. Yeah. It's Sophia Island. <laughs> Sophia Island. <laughs> 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 So we're here out in Milan, the city of Milan. We just had dinner at Greta's, one of Greta's grandmother's houses who lives here in Milano. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to come back here and do a proper day vlog exploring this city. But for now, I want to talk a little bit about Greta's story. Now, if you don't know, Greta actually grew up in Italy for almost her entire life. But she ended up making a huge change in her life and moved to America when she was 19. And that's how I met her. That's where I'm <laughs> from. You guys know this. But uh, I wanted to kind of talk about that. Like, why did you leave this beautiful country for America? But why did you? what about America? Why did you leave? What's, <laughs> the, what's your story? <laughs> okay, so the story is... Obviously, okay, let's make one thing clear. I love Italy. 